welcome to everyone. So in this video, I'm going to talk about temporomandibular joint or TM joint plane X-rays projections. The TM joint is the relationship of the mandible to the temporal bone of the cranium. It's located just anterior and slightly superior to the external auditory meatus EAM. And it's the only movable joint in the skull. It's a complex synovial joint which allows mandible for a gliding movement. So when the mouth opens, the condyles move forward and uh, revolves around the cartilage at the same time. And it's important to consider this motion in imaging. So we need to perform the x-rays in both open and closed mouth conditions. Alright, so before we get into the x-rays, positions and techniques, let's take a brief look at the imaging modalities which are useful to evaluate the TM joint. We can see in this table the imaging system we are using and each pros and cons. For sure, the physicians will choose the imaging modalities depends on their availability and the patient indications. For instance, we're using plain x-ray and uh, panoramic imaging in case that the mandible has motion dysfunction and disorders or because uh, we can perform the x-rays in open and mouth position so we can evaluate the joint movement. But in case of pathologies, uh, the CT scan or the cone beam CT, CBCT are so much more accurate than the others. Okay, so let's get back to our main subject, which is plain X-ray projections. The first projection is AP Axial, which is a modification of town method. So you need to ask the patient to remove all opaque objects from the head and neck region, then rest the posterior skull against the image receptor. You need to adjust the head in a way that OML or orbitometer line is perpendicular to image receptor. Then angle the X-ray tube 35 degree caudal and center it about 3 inches superior to the nation. And finally the X-rays should be made in both closed and open mouth for comparison purposes. And the second projection is axiolateral oblique projection. So ask the patient to rest the lateral aspect of head against image receptor. Usually both left and right sides should be taken for comparison, but you should consider that the side of interest should be close to image receptor. Then you need to ro rotate the face 15 degree toward IR to avoid superimposition of both TM joints. Then adjust the CR just 4 cm superior to the external auditory meatus with 15 degree angle towards foot. This projection also should be made in both open and mouth uh, conditions for comparison. And finally these projections are uh, useful for fractures and abnormal relationship or to evaluate the range of motion between condyles and TM joint fossa. Alright that's it, so if you like my video please subscribe our channel and don't forget to leave a comment for me, thanks again.